Uh, what version is this? Mote ora. Okay, ora. Um, when do I enter in terms of yin and yang theory? When there's a yin space, okay? So, there's a couple things you can see. At some point, I'm going to enter. He could do that with a pull. Go ahead. But now I have a problem because at some point I'm going to turn. And when do I turn? He pushes. When he's pushing, okay? That he needs yang for me to do yin. Also, there's a problem with the pull because it's representative of a social violence, not a social violence, because there's no territoriality, no spinal displacement, and so it is a what if. This is not kihon waza. Okay? So the idea that he's just staying there and I go around is equally wrong because he has no spinal displacement, okay? So, in other words, if he gives me the spinal displacement, I can't enter because that's yang on yang. Do you understand that? Okay. So, what there is initially is this faith to his yang, to his spinal displacement. I take it around. And then he hits the ground back. <laughs> to do that, you can't go around him and try to get his elbow and his wrist in different planes because the elbow keeps going. Unless you get turns for you. Or you yang the elbow. It's his big man I can. So absorb. Absorb. When he bounces off me, that's my connector. Do you see? And then this thing, I just bring around me. Absorb. And I start his falling, little by little. Fall. I'm not pushing down. He's falling and I'm staying in the check-in position. It's staying even with. It looks like I'm entering against him. It's just I don't have the gap on the projection. So as soon as he comes off me, boom, I'm entering already. I'm not throwing him, and then go. have to reconcile yin and yang, okay? But more on yin and yang, let's ask a question. At this point, clearly the elbow hand takes over. You know clearly the elbow hand at that point is yang, which means up to that point, it had to have been what? Yin. Yeah. It had to have been yin. So I'm not going like this, 
and shut the elbow. The core cue is in this hand, right there, that hand. Boom, pop, this hand. The elbow is just for the ride. Not touch, not do anything until I get here. Then the elbow goes over because as this hand, boom, projects, it's done. Which means it went to yin, which is why the other hand picks up the yang. So, don't shove this elbow down. Violation, you go on the other way, pull, then this hand takes over. Oh, oh. then this hand takes over. It's just in place, not doing anything. Just in place. Then down there it is. Again, it looks like Aikido, but if your yin and yang are off, it's just big man Aikido, which is not Aikido, it's just you overpowering someone. When you do a Kihon Waza, you want to do the body mechanics of that Kihon Waza. Uh, once you have internal skills, you don't need the body mechanics. So eventually you want to transcend the body mechanics find the same technique, but with different body mechanics that are energetic, okay? So for example, here I take his wrist and elbow in a different plane, you see that? But from here, you can still find that same center, you see that? I'm not passing his elbow, you see? So I'm over here, but it's still in the center as I'm going. Do you understand that? When we do this move, it's mechanically, biomechanically unsound to use your outer deltoid. You make this big circle, it looks like it works, but it doesn't work. It's a small muscle group. It also exposes the side of your body right here. You see? Bump. Boom. Okay? So this hand is not making that circle that you think it's making. He's got a sword. He's got a sword. Are you going to lift the sword up? That's what you're doing. So the arm is straight. My arm is straight. As I move to the outside, I'm on the outside of his hand. Doing shomenichi. Very similar. Do you see that? Yeah. Not like this. That is the angle of the arm. The shape of the hand is also not arbitrary. It must have this shape, not this shape. This shape. Boom. The angle of the wrist is also not arbitrary. And the rotation of the wrist as you go into Shoman Uchi area is not arbitrary. The hand is not lifting. The elbow is pushing. Hand lifting, elbow pushing. They do different things to his arm. This just lifts his arm straight up. We'll hold this moment. And you're going to see what I'm going to do with the shape of the hand on the wrist. Start to get his elbow to go up, you see. His elbow. Here's where you get greedy and you start pushing here. Keep turning the wrist. That is where the Koku projection is. Right here. You see? So his energy is coming in. Boom! Hits that. 
When you go like this, that's why you go around. Or you get up to here, that's why you muscle this elbow. We want to make sure his elbow go up. We watch his elbow. Now in a yin phase, and now I can 